What's up, everybody? Jordan Stewart here from Vova. Thanks so much for tapping into the Vova Original Show. Just a reminder that if you want to drop your opinions about the episode or respond to the host and guests with your voice, go and download the Vova app wherever you get your apps. Vova, voice over everything. Enjoy the show. What's up, everyone, and welcome to this Wednesday edition of the Volver Sports Card Show. I am your host, Frank Relia. Tonight is Game 4 of the NBA Finals, the most important game of the NBA season thus far. And because of this, we need to look at the car markets of Giannis and Devin Booker heading into the big game and why we may see some movement in their individual markets. I want to first talk about the narratives around these two guys because it's super important. Generally, how the basketball community views an individual player reflects their card prices. If we think about Devin Booker right now, we hear people saying that he's an ex-Kobe Bryant, that Devin Booker is a superstar, that Devin Booker might be a multiple time MVP. And because of this, some of his cards are performing at insanely high levels. His base prism rookie card PSA 10 is selling for above $1,100. This card was about $700 when the postseason started. We look at his silver prism rookie card PSA 10, population of 170. This card is $6,100. This card is of a fair amount. We look at his orange prism number to 65 at a PSA 10. This just sold for over $14,000. People are paying a massive premium for Devin Booker right now, significantly higher than what they used to pay for him. I remember back in May of 2020, heading into the last year's bubble, nobody in the car community really valued Devin Booker. His base prism rookie card PSA 10 was under $200. And if we thought about him as a player, he was in his fifth season. He never made the postseason before. He was just a scorer on a bad team. And to be fair, in the modern NBA, there are a dime a dozen. You look at someone like Bradley Beal right now, he really isn't that collectible. We don't see crazy high prices for him because he's just a scorer. He's not a playmaker. He doesn't play on a great team. But then what happened was we saw the bubble come. The Suns went 8-0. and and Even though they didn't make the postseason, the team really did show flashes in front of everybody, especially the game winner against the Clippers. Devin Booker really showed that he has superstar potential. And then we followed that up this season with Chris Paul joining the Suns. And what Chris Paul adds to a team is he turns them into a true playoff contender. We now see the Suns playing really well. They've made it to the finals. They haven't made the postseason in over a decade. And now this team is in the finals up to one. And this is why we predictably see Devin Booker car prices at all time high levels, because we see people realistically saying that Devin Booker is the next Kobe, that Devin Booker will be an MVP, that Devin Booker is going to be a legend. And I'm just saying, if you want to buy in at his current car prices today, you need to think multiple things. First, you have to think he's going to come back tonight and over the rest of the finals and dominate 30 plus points per game. You better hope he wins finals MVP and you better hope once next season comes around, it's his team and not Chris Paul. Before I say anything negative about Devin Booker, I want to make it very clear. He has been very impressive in his first postseason ever. And I do think this should make him jump guys like Jason Tatum in terms of young players in this league. But let's be clear. Devin Booker is not yet a true tier one superstar in this league. In game three of the finals, Booker shot three for 14 with 10 points in the Suns loss. And you really didn't hear it be the main story on a lot of these sports TV shows following the game. And I think a reason behind that is a lot of the basketball world still doesn't think Devin Booker is a superstar. People might say he's the next Kobe. People in the car community might be paying crazy high prices. But the question is, do people really believe it? Players naturally have struggles in their first postseason, particularly players that have large roles. But I think it's wildly unfair that when Booker plays well, everybody talks about it. But then when he plays poorly, people are pretty quiet. Don't forget in the first round against the Lakers, Devin Booker had back-to-back games, game three and game four, where he scored under 20 points and shot the ball awfully. Nobody said a word about it. Even though at that point of the series, when we got to after game three, people thought that the Lakers were going to walk away with the series. Anthony Davis got hurt in game four and that switched everything up. And we go to the Clippers series, Devin Booker, especially when he broke his nose, he had multiple quiet games and it opened the door for the Clippers to get back into the series. And Chris Paul was the one who took over game six of the Western Conference Finals. And Chris Paul was the one that took over game one of the NBA Finals. Devin Booker has had big moments, particularly the end of that Lakers series. He was incredible. He had incredible moments in the Denver series and Clipper series as well. And the second half of game two of this finals. But do not be surprised that Devin Booker has some struggles the rest of this NBA finals. And if he does struggle, you are going to see his car prices drop a fair amount. The assumption with Devin Booker is that he's going to win the championship, play a massive role and be a top 10 player in the league for the next decade. People are saying he's Kobe. So if he's going to be Kobe, there better be a multiple year stretch where Devin Booker is the best player in the world. If not, his car prices are not going to make sense. And I think a lot of people are overreacting to what he's doing in the short term. The Suns are doing great. Devin Booker has had a great postseason and overall, but this series is quietly getting much closer. And if the Bucks win tonight, this is going to be a really tight series and Devin Booker card prices might be a little too high for what people were truly expecting. When Giannis injured his knee and everybody was expecting the worst and thinking he was going to be out for a year. And at the exact same time, the Suns were cruising to a championship. A lot of people dumped all of their eggs in one basket saying the Suns are going to win the championship. Chris Paul is a top five point guard. Devin Booker is a superstar. It's going to be locked in. But there is now new information to go off of. Giannis is healthy and Giannis is clearly the best player on the floor. Let's look at the narrative around Giannis. In the 2019 season, he won the MVP. 
MVP. And the Bucs came up short in the postseason when people expected them to probably make the finals when LeBron was out of the East. The Bucs came up short and they lost four straight games to the Raptors, who ended up beating the Warriors in the finals. And then we go to last year, the 2020 season. The Bucs were the best team in the league. Giannis was being discussed by many as the best player in the league. He won the MVP again. And heading into the bubble, the Bucs were the favorites to win it all. People thought that the Bucs were going to cruise to the East and that either the Lakers or Clippers were going to get to the finals, but the Bucs were going to be the favorite. But this did not happen. Giannis got exposed in the postseason again after the Bucs lost in 2019. And don't forget, the couple years before that, 2017, 2018, Giannis lost in the postseason as well. He just wasn't viewed as a true superstar yet. He was just a rising star in the league. But since Giannis lost in the bubble to the Miami Heat last year, his car prices haven't been the same and nobody's discussed him as the same player. Last summer before the Bucs lost, people were ready to hand Giannis over the title as the best player in the world, which to be clear, does not get handed around very often. So this was a massive achievement. And this is why people were paying incredibly high prices for Giannis cards. His base prism rookie PSA 10 was breaking $7,000. This card is now $1,500. If you look at some of his other stuff, I remember seeing blue prisms and other short print cards selling for insane prices where these sellers were getting 25x of what they paid in the past a couple of years ago. So why am I bringing this all up? Giannis cards are clearly down significantly from where they were at all-time highs. People have moved off the idea of Giannis being the best player in the world, but I don't think enough people were discussing what Giannis just did in game two and game three of the finals because Giannis went down in that Hawks series. We thought he probably blew out his knee. He didn't. He luckily just hyperextended his knee. In game one of the finals, he scored 20 points. He was just feeling out the game. I think he was just gauging how his body felt. And then when he realized that he was good, in game two and game three of the finals, he had over 40 points and over 10 rebounds. To put this into perspective, Kobe Bryant and Kevin Durant in their entire careers each only have one game where they scored 40 points in the NBA finals. Kobe Bryant played 37 NBA finals games. He had one game above 40 points. Giannis has two and he's played in three finals games ever. What Giannis is doing is absolutely insane because what has always made people nervous, especially this year, is the fact that Giannis has never done it in the postseason. He's never taken over the finals. And him coming up short against the Raptors and against the Heat last year have really lowered people's confidence in what he would look like when the finals come. He had 42 points in game two, 41 points in game three on incredible efficiency, above 60% from the field. And I just think the risk reward with his cards right now might be a lot higher than people think. And if we compare it to Devin Booker, I don't even think they're in the same realm of a smart investment right now. Giannis is prestige. His rookie auto PSA 10 is selling for about $2,000. His blue prism auto number to 99 and a PSA 9 just sold for under 5,000 bucks. His select RPA in a 9.5 last week sold for $1,500. And I'm just going to say this, if Giannis can somehow win this series, which I don't expect him to, but I think if the Bucks lose and he continues playing at this high level of production, I don't think people should slander him whatsoever. But if the Bucks can somehow find a way to make this series go long and somehow scare the Suns, his car prices are going to go absolutely ballistic because we've seen them be so much higher. And it's important to note, Dario Saric is out for the rest of the series, so that's a big body gone. Torrey Craig has been injured, so they've really just relied on DeAndre Ayton. But in game three, he got in foul trouble early. I don't want to sit here and overreact to Giannis and try to pump up his stuff. But given where his cards are right now, relative to where they used to be, and looking at what Giannis has accomplished over the last two games, scoring over 40 points in each, which is something that Kobe and Kevin Durant over the course of their career only did one time each, and understanding that Giannis is a guy who already has two league MVPs and on the verge of one championship. You know how many guys have a title and two MVPs right now? 11, and they're all NBA legends. Giannis has the ability to become the 12th. I would watch tonight's game very closely because if the Bucs come out and tie up the series 2-2 and Giannis plays great again, we are going to start to see some real movement in the sports car market. So I appreciate you listening to this Wednesday edition of the Vover Sports Car Show. I am your host, Frank Corelli, and I'll be back again on Friday. Vover.